Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Tuesday, June 13th, 2017 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is the evolution connects me to conscious revelations. And today we have Grand Trine in air energy. So that is revelations out the wazoo. Air energy has a very mental component. So we may be getting revelations from within, that's my favorite place, <laughs> from without, um, or even from connections to friends, family, or those we don't consider friends and family. The revelations are basically coming from everywhere. As we are finishing up Revolution Evolution Day, we have half the day Revolution Evolution, um, half the day working any shift, any release that needs to come up, and then moving into those revel uh, revelations, <laughs> so from revolution to revelations, um, I actually want to look at the two places, the two tougher aspects that are happening during the day to pinpoint where some of these evolutions may occur, some of these triggers may occur to help us bring forth the revolutions into revelations within. So we begin the day with the moon in Aquarius and the moon in Aquarius is connecting to Venus. So moon in Aquarius connects us to the all that is. It connects us to, oh, there's a place for me in the world. Oh, my weirdness belongs in the world. The moon in Aquarius is like suddenly like, oh, there is a reason. And yet we have Venus in Taurus, which is very worldly. And it might be like, oh, but I don't know if I feel safe sharing this part of myself in the world. I don't know if it's okay for me to share this part of myself in the world. I don't know if I'll be accepted. I don't know if others will see the worth of myself in the world. So that may be our first little energy, you know, <laughs> pinpoint in the day where it's like something within you, something about your worldly existence comes up and needs to be faced, needs to have a little bit of shift around it. And remembering, going back to, as I was doing this horoscope, this came up, the other week when I was uh, doing somebody's chart, it's a roomy quote. You are not just a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. And that's like, like that is the all encompassing energy to me today is remembering. And this is part of bringing through these revelations. You are the entire ocean in this drop in, in the you that you are. Here you are, your source, you're this beautiful source energy. So yes, by all means, you belong how you are showing up now in this existence, in this energy. But <laughs> we've been told that, you know, we've been told all the things. I don't have to tell you all the things you've been told, how you don't belong, you're not good enough, blah, 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 all those things. And it, it causes us to put on these veils, these cloaks that cloak us from showing up in the existence of this source energy, this light energy that we are. You are not just a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in the drop. So remember that when you come up against these worth things and hold space for yourself as you move through this. The other square that we have is also kind of similar to this. We have Mercury in Gemini, told you it's moving really fast. We're already like by the end of today, we're halfway through Mercury in Gemini. Like we got another week of it and then it's like, see you next sign. <laughs> so Mercury moving through Gemini, squaring Neptune. So Mercury in Gemini is moving that mental process along. This is actually at 14 degrees, which is that five energy. So really strong mental energy. And it's connecting to Neptune, Neptune and Pisces, which reminds us of the wholeness that we are. And yet Mercury is seeing processing, analyzing, looking at all the evidence around in the world where this is why I don't belong because <laughs> I'm this. I'm I'm the weird juggler with candles and, you know, I have a pet monkey who likes to pop my balloons. <laughs> and so this is this is what we're, how we're seeing ourselves. I've got the stress card in reverse. We're seeing ourselves as this energy instead of going into this energy. And so recognize where your mind is taking you, how your mind is taking you in and through this energy. Again, this is a place where potent revelations can come, where you're realizing, oh wait, I really didn't want to put on the clown suit and juggle candles for a living while walking my pet monkey today. I just wanted to dance with my monkey. <laughs> so, <laughs> put down the candles, get off the ball, take off the clown costume, and remember who you are. This is the heart of the energy. You are not just a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. So remembering that, that to me is like, this is the evolution, this is the revelation, is remembering that energy. 
So the rest of the connections the day, through the day, Mercury connecting to Jupiter, Moon connecting to Jupiter, and then Moon connecting to Mercury. We have them all at 13, 14 degrees. It's almost an exact grand trine in air. So the mental synapses are going to be flying. Your mental energy is going to be flying. There's going to be connections made here and here and here and here and here. You may not even get or understand all of the downloads that come in, in and through this day with all of this energy because there is so much. But I guarantee you are being downloaded. What I would like you to focus on is that Mercury-Jupiter connection, 13 degrees, really working with your mental body and understanding, knowing, having consciousness of the worth of, the worth of you, of the worth of your energy in the drop of the ocean that you are <laughs> and realizing I am the entire ocean in the drop. I am all of consciousness in my drop. I am all that is in my individual self recognizing that will be a huge liberation transformation piece in this journey. Now the moon in Aquarius is what brings through your own organic piece of the spectrum in it. It's like it's like you're a rainbow and yet at the same time you are the certain color in the rainbow. So that moon energy is like okay and this is the this is the color of the spectrum that you're expressing right now. Be willing to express it. Be willing to honor it. The moon meeting up with Jupiter is bringing forth that energy. Again, these energies are 13 degrees. That revolution, evolution. The revolution, evolution is so strong with you right now. You know, show up for it because, because it's, it's powerful. And here's the thing. I bring this to your attention so that you can consciously work on it. This is all happening. <laughs> Whether or not you're paying attention to it, this is happening. You can enhance it by bringing that focus, like we talked about yesterday, the focus and your attention to it. The final aspect of the day is that moon connecting to Mercury. And so that may be when you've like moved through all these things and moved through, well, I don't know, I don't know, is the world going to be mad at me if I stop wearing the clown suit and don't juggle the fire anymore for them? And it's like, oh wait, <laughs> that's not my color. <laughs> I didn't come here to wear that color. I came here to wear this color. So that may be that final little little push, little piece. What I love that's happening in the background as well, uh, the North Node in Leo is working towards Saturn. And so as it's working towards Saturn, it's bringing us more into this heart energy and bringing our beliefs more into that heartfelt energy. And so it's shifting our beliefs from that place of, oh, I've got to be this thing that everybody wants me to be because it makes people happy into, oh, I've got to be me, this source, source flowing through me in alignment with that energy. I liked all those rhymes that just happened right there. So <laughs> from the shapeshifters, I have little Owlin. And it's a wisdom card. Wisdom as light as a feather. And that reminds me of the Egyptian um, saying, like they wanted your heart to be as light as the feather. And I believe when we are working from that heart energy, when we are being true to ourselves, our heart is as light as a feather. And the divination from this is a piece of wisdom, priceless wisdom, will be learned in a very simple, very easy way. Probably because the revelation is coming from inside you because you are the entire ocean in a drop. <laughs> there is enough potent wisdom available for everyone. You simply need a small portion of this wisdom for it to have an immense influence in all matters. You may receive signs that the wisdom of the owl is with you, the unblinking eye, the truth teller, the one who is the friend of the goddess from Athena to Lodiwed. It is likely that people may have underestimated you or feel that you have a lightness to your touch that you're not taken very seriously. Nothing could be further from the truth. In all matters of justice, you will now be triumphant even with the lightest of touches. You are being blessed and accepted as one of the wise ones to keep the treasure, but keep this treasure of the wisdom gently. Use it wisely and know that Owlin has given you a gift of justice, wisdom, transformation, and the pure power of direct intention. You are most blessed. So we have Owlin working with us, bringing forth this energy. And the thing is, it's like, as you get into this alignment, here come the revelations. But the biggest revelation I feel for all of us is remembering I'm the entire ocean in a drop. Okay, so I still have my sale going. It is $44 for 30 minutes. I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep it up. I just kind of like feel it through like the tide. So you can book that at GaiaBlooming.com. You can email me at Mimi. Clark at gmail.com. Sorry, you just noticed the little tail behind me. Mahalo rarely comes on camera. He must have had a special message for everybody. He's now sitting in front of the camera moving 
the computer. Anyways, <laughs> that is it for today with a special Mahalo blessing. Thank you and namaste.